harvesting wild leeks. So I'm really lucky we're in this beautiful, healthy, dense patch of wild leeks. And so if I'm gonna harvest wild leeks, this is exactly the place I wanna go, a place that looks like it has lots of healthy populations. Hey everybody, it's Chris Gilmore here from Wild Muskoka Botanicals, and it's the middle of May, which is one of our favorite times of the year. It's when the spring ephemerals start to poke their heads out of the ground. The spring ephemerals are all those plants that come up uh, with their leaves before the leaves start to leaf out in the uh, forest canopy and the trees above. So this includes things like this one here, the wild leeks and our trilliums and our trout lilies and our spring beauties, uh, a plethora of beautiful edible plant species. But what I really wanted to chat with you about today is harvesting these things sustainably. A lot of people uh, are starting to harvest wild leeks and the trend of harvesting wild food is really on the rise. And we do believe that's a good thing. Uh, harvesting wild foods, but there's a lot to know before we do it so that we can do it in good relationship with the land and do it in a way that people will still be able to harvest from the land generations from now. If you go into harvesting with a, a good understanding of ecology and good ethics, there's no reason that the places you harvest from can't become more abundant uh, in the years to come as opposed to you taking away and pulling those resources. So let's look at the wild leek here for a second. A lot of people harvest these for this bottom part here, these tiny little white corms. And they're actually very small, uh, the base or the roots of the wild leeks there. They're absolutely delicious. You know, people make wild leek soup with these. Um, but one thing we can do right off the bat to be more sustainable in the way we harvest is harvest only the leaves instead. A lot of people don't realize that the leaf has a lot of the same flavor that the root has, and you can make almost anything with the leaf that you can make out of the root. Um, so first thing people don't realize is that you can just harvest the leaves of the wild leeks and you can make all of your delicious recipes with just the leaves. So it has a bulb forming at the base, comes up and it's going to have one leaf in the young plants and then two leaves. And this plant here actually even has down in the center a little bit of the flowering stalk is start starting to show. So I can just harvest wild leeks really easily if I want to be extremely sustainable and just come and clip one leaf off each of these plants. So generally what I do is I just kind of go around a patch like this with a pair of just scissors and I just go through the patch snipping like as if I'm snipping lettuce in my garden. And then what I'm doing is I'm making sure that so all of these plants, they can afford to lose one of their leaves and the bulb stays intact in the ground. And then I'm able to use these amazing, beautiful, delicious leaves in all of my recipes. Or, because the bugs are bad out here, I can just eat them. And the delicious garlic flavor will emanate through my skin and make the bugs not like me. 